Welcome on board Japan's ferry that's more like a cruise ship. It's got it all. From vending machines to a restaurant with a beer machine and a chocolate fountain. Not to mention an incredible room and so much more. We'll explore it all on this 12-hour journey. Hello, Jet Setters. I'm Jeb Brooks from Greenergrass.com. This is Japan's newest ferry, and you're coming along. Here's the plan. We'll leave Beppu at 6.45 tonight. We'll enjoy 12 hours of comfort on board as we travel more than 200 miles to Osaka, where we'll arrive at 6.30 tomorrow morning. Japan's newest ferry connects the popular Hot Springs Resort town of Beppu to Japan's third biggest city, Osaka, daily. The Sunflower Kuranai Ferry is less than a year old. It's just under 200 meters long and has space for more than 700 passengers, along with plenty of room for trucks and cars. It's also Japan's first liquid natural gas powered ferry. There are so many amazing trains in Japan. However, we decided to travel by ferry tonight. Why? It'll look like a really cool, fun experience, obviously. And two in one. We'll get a sleep on this ferry while moving to our next destination of Osaka. A train from Beppu to Osaka takes about four hours and costs $130 per person. Stick around to the end to find out what we paid for this trip. Have you ever been on an overnight ferry before? Well, I've been on ferries that do overnight uh, trips, but I've never actually slept on one before, no. Have you? No. I think this is kind of going to be like a Japanese Queen Mary 2. We watched the trucks and cars line up for their own boarding procedure before we headed inside to complete the brief check-in procedure we needed to take care of. Inside, TVs distracted waiting passengers. And in typical Japanese fashion, boarding began precisely on time, one hour before departure. It was extremely well organized and we were stepping onto the ferry in no time. And this main atrium is grand. We were immediately impressed by this area. The staircase is magnificent, but the whole three-story space just amazed us. Our room, located at the very front of the seventh deck, had a lot of surprises in store for us. Welcome to room 7310. This is quite different to any room I've ever seen on any form of transportation. Here are the beds. Oh, this is a traditional Japanese style room with tatami mat floors. So we're going to sleep on those futons in the closet. We'll roll those futons out later and sleep kind of on the floor. It's the Japanese way. I'm all for a cultural experience. I'm sure it's going to be magnificent. We'll have plenty of time to explore this uh, room. Uh, we've got 12 hours to Osaka. Let's go explore the rest of this over-the-top ferry. Off the main atrium, you'll find tons of vending machines offering everything from drinks to full meals. There's also a photo booth with a picture of the ship. There's even a shop with all kinds of souvenirs and digital screens that allow passengers to explore the ship's many amenities. There are men's and women's onsens for relaxing, as you'd expect, no cameras in there. But the massaging chair did the trick for me. It was a bit too chilly to spend too much time out on the observation deck, but it did offer a commanding view off the ferry. There are even screens throughout the ship showing which amenities are congested. And because there was room in the restaurant, we headed that way. For about $15 each, we had access to a giant buffet with all kinds of Japanese food. And just as we sat down, we began pulling away from the dock. About to pull out of here, uh, Osaka, here we come. The ferry has a service speed of 22 and a half knots, and we loved waving goodbye to the crew here in Beppu. They were the ones who helped get us on our way. No better way to start this voyage than with a Japanese draft beer from a vending machine. It only cost around three or four dollars. Again, the buffet was massive with many Japanese options, even if I wasn't exactly sure what I was getting. Confession, I, I really don't know what any of this is. All of the signs are in Japanese, so your guess is as good as mine. I know I've got some salad and some curry uh, and hopefully some flavorful stuff. Let's dig in. It's delicious. We're on a ferry and it's delicious. The best part may have been dessert, where we found a chocolate fountain.
In addition to that beer, other drinks were included in the price of the buffet, including coffee and tea. There's also a, a liquor store in case you want something a bit more uh, potent. Back outside, we decided to check out the vending machines. Really wish I hadn't just had dinner. In his recent Shinkansen video, Paul Lucas recommended this drink called Hokari Sweat. Sounds kind of weird, but I saw it in the vending machine, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's kind of grapefruity. Give it a try if you have a chance. It's really good. Thanks, Paul. We stepped back into the atrium and they were projecting a behind the scenes tour of the ship onto the ceiling. But now it's time for us to take a look around the room. Hey, come on in. The first rule, no shoes in the tatami mat. So I've got to take these off and put on the provided slippers. Now, right here, there's a coat closet that has plenty of room for luggage, as well as the amenities that are provided. In through here, there's even a dressing table here, which is pretty nice. There's even a hair dryer under there as well. And here's the bedding, because believe it or not, in this Japanese style room, the bed is not yet set up. So we'll have to do that in just a little bit. Now, right here is the bathroom. It's got it all in here. There's a shower and as you'd expect, an amazing Japanese toilet. These things, they do a lot more than you'd ever imagined back home. They're fantastic. And of course, a really nice sink. For the third and final room, this is the massive bedroom, lounge. It's even a TV room. This is the size of this TV. It's got everything. There's an air purifier in here, along with a little uh, side table here and a uh, night table. So when we set up the beds, we'll be able to use this to charge our phones overnight, that kind of thing. Pretty nice. And then of course, uh, a, little, uh, a little bench along uh, the side here and a TV, which will be great for watching a movie right before we go to bed, maybe. I don't know. And then uh, there's even a little kitchenette area, which has got a, a tea kettle and that kind of thing, along with a refrigerator below. So uh, a nice opportunity for some uh, food and that kind of thing. Now, the best feature, though, has got to be this table in the middle of the room. So uh, if we want to have dinner here or a cup of tea, anything like that, it's set up for it right here. We've also got a massive window here. Now, unfortunately, it's pitch black dark out there, uh, but hopefully in the morning we'll get some light. There is so much going for this room. We adjusted the temperature, had some tea, watched some TV, and set up the beds. The ferry also has Western style rooms on board, but we chose this Japanese one. Which would you prefer, a Western style room or a Japanese one where you set up your own bed like we are here? very sensitive to motion on boats and I was a little bit worried about what the sea conditions might be like. To be honest, I can't even tell we're moving right now. I can't feel anything. I guess we'll see you in the AM. Good morning. It's about 5.15. We're just off the coast of Kobe, so we've got another a uh, little over an hour left until we get into uh, Osaka. That was a great night of sleep. I've got to tell you, it was smooth. We really, as Suzanne said last night as we were going to bed, you couldn't feel any movement at all. And uh, the tatami mat, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of a convert. Talk about a great use of space and a really comfortable bed. Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. We made our way back down to the restaurant where, for $5, we enjoyed a breakfast buffet. First stop, the coffee machine, of course. Breakfast was a bit more sparse than dinner, but you can't beat the price, and we found plenty to get us started on our day. Omega-3. Tomato. Eggs with a P. Salad. Unknown. The sun was coming up strong as we entered Osaka. There's, uh, there's even a lounge for passengers who are in suites. Suzanne did not tell me that there were suites on this ferry. They go traditional Japanese. Suite would have been nice. I'm kidding. I'm so glad we went with a Japanese style room, but there are Western style rooms on the ship as well, if that's your preference. As we dock, it's time for the Jeb score. This unscientific rating system looks at the lounge, the room, the food, the onboard entertainment, and the service first. The lounge in Beppu was pretty basic. We wish there'd been maybe a coffee shop or a convenience store nearby, but that wasn't the case. 
three stars here. Our room was fantastic. It truly had it all, five stars. The food was plentiful, tasty, and impressive, and the prices were fair too. That's five stars. The entertainment was pretty basic. Internet access was not working for us, but the show on the ceiling was pretty cool. Three stars here. The service was great. We didn't need too much help, and even though the announcements were all understandably in Japanese, the crew were super helpful to us. Five stars for them. Before we total that up, let's talk price. We paid 340 US dollars for our room, pretty reasonable if you consider the cost of transportation and hotels in Japan. Now, if you'd like to book this trip for yourself, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, all in, the Sunflower Kurenai Ferry earns 21 out of a possible 25 stars. Between now and the next time, see you on the seas. What, what do you think so far? <laughs> I think I'd rather ask you that. Maybe in the morning we can catch the sunrise or a little bit of the, uh, the ocean as we go along the way to Osaka. Well, I guess it's not the ocean. Let me try that again. Yeah, just a random microphone clipped to my duvet. <laughs> yeah, it's just a random microphone plugged into my duvet. But it's about 8.30. <laughs> that's that's kind of too early. Um, but maybe we'll watch another uh, set of Japanese commercials. Because <laughs> that's all it seems to be on TV.